Hi, it's Wesley here with Expand the Craft, and we have Kelvin here is going to take his absolute first ride. Uh, we're going to paddle it first, and then we're going to use the electric motor. So stay tuned. At the end of this video, we'll have that. What do you think about the stability so far? Just getting on it. Oh man, it was great. I mean, I you know stepping in, I was like, "Hey, going to be tipping or not?" You got to stand on the bottom. And, no. We we actually did not even. Um, affix the seat it's just laying on there because i didn't know where he'd want it as far as how far forward or backwards that particular seat is just a stadium seat that you can buy you know at walmart uh for 18 20 dollars it's um very affordable and it's more comfortable than the kayak seats that i've put on these things before especially here in florida where today we have heat advisories and uh it gets hot really really hot this is his first time paddling and expand the craft so he's just getting a feel of it and again we're going to uh, uh, pause the video and show him with an 18 pound thrust electric motor coming up all right all right you did it a little turnabout <clears throat> how did you like the way it turned around yeah, maybe I, maybe you do need to go backwards about two inches to get it perfectly level, but it'll be fine once we put the motor on it. There'll be a little bit of weight in the back, okay. so it'll probably balance out. You have to remember, Expander Craft is a catamaran. They're not made for heavy, heavy hauling. Um, you could add more hulls to a triple twelve, and. Uh, Put two people on it make it wider it's like the sailboat version you guys have seen my videos all right come on in and let's uh put that motor on it well i think once we put the motor on the seat will, will be in the right place this time all right hold on everyone we'll be right back all right so <clears throat> all right now this is just a test this is a, a water snake 18 pound thrust it has two speeds and it does have reverse however on this particular boat being as just testing out and he's got the tiller arm there's no way for him to reach back there without <laughs> spinning around no and doing a little trick so i'm going to turn the motor on and set him a lot but i'm only going to do speed number one i'm only going to do number one because i've done number two on this boat it's way faster than you need to be going um so i'm gonna turn him around and get him going right away all right that's setting number one with no paddle assist so if you pedal or, or paddle and use the motor obviously you're going to be going faster than you would if uh you were just paddling I'm going to pause it here just for a moment and let him get turned around so you can get a little bit closer view. All right. He's just finding out that smaller steering inputs make the boat not only go straighter, but it makes it more efficient and faster through the water. Um, if you steer hard left, hard right, hard left, hard right, it just, well, you wouldn't do that in your trucks or cars. What do you think? I mean, speed-wise, and that's setting number one. This is like a quick paddle. Wow. I'll, I'll, I'll bump it up to number two when you come around. Show us how uh, turning radius of um, a normal turn, not a not a spin-around turn. Just give it a little bit of a push. There you go. That's about a 40-degree angle on the motor. And... We'll see about what kind of radius it has turning while strictly under power. Remember, you can put a foot control on the motor, and um, that way you don't have to have your hands on a tiller when he's going straight now. Got to come back around. Yeah, just come right back around in front of me, and I'm going to put it on speed number two, okay. if I can catch you. <laughs> I don't know that we really need speed number two. Holding up, folks. Yeah, if you're going too fast in the curve, you just uh, 
Woo! <laughs> Let me see if I can get to you. Uh, I'm, uh, I can't. I can't reach you from here, but maybe if you come by again, or uh, or beach it, and I'll put number two. All right, we're illustrating here. Uh, he's really experimenting with it. You're going to turn this thing tight. It goes slower because you're basically twisting the boat. You're not. It, it negates much of the forward speed, but it does turn in a very tight radius if you do it that way. There we go. Come right at me, and uh, what I'll do is I'll stop it, put you on number two, and send you right back out. All right. With some trepidation, <laughs> we got number speed number two here. I do hear a little cavitation. I'm going to get him to come around and we'll be able to see the speed a little more. Okay, here he comes. This is uh, speed number two of an 18, it's one eight, 18 pound thrust uh, water snake. I don't sell them, folks. You just go to Walmart. I like Walmart better than Amazon. Now, this is definitely faster than you could paddle. And it's... Yeah, I think we're pretty close to 50-50 there, but you're right. We could slide it backwards. Yeah, that's, that's moving on. Now, that's got a 30 amp hour, 12 volt um, lithium ion battery. And that will last, I think, about four hours and maybe longer if it's on, if you put it on number one and you paddle at the same time, you'll go much, much farther because with the paddle and the motor, if you do the motor on speed one and paddle, you get the same speed as speed two, but not have to use up all that battery. He's gonna come by. Yeah, just come by and do another speed run right straight past me. Now we get a little bit better speed here. He's in a straighter line. And uh, I'll try to get out farther. I'm walking in the slippery boat ramp. Yeah, just go right in front of me here. And uh, you get to, see this is in relatively flat, flat water. But these hulls are designed to take and you can get a little speed. Must be catching some of the current here. Yeah, we're going against the current in this direction. But yes, that motor is cavitating a little bit. And it looks like the motor is tucked. So it could be adjusted and would be more efficient. Uh, even more so. Expand the craft. We'll do a little sum up here in just a minute. Need 150 Johnson on here now. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody says that. All right, turn her into the beach and uh, there we go. A little, a little more uh, turning than is needed. All right, I'm going to rush over here and just cut the motor off. All right. Well, what's your uh, what's your overall thoughts? Yeah, it's really stable. Um... My girlfriend's got a, an old town kayak, and this is stable, turns turns quicker. You know, with not a lot of work, you yeah. could you could make that into a foot steerable uh, thing with like a little pedal. Oh yeah. Yeah, we could put a pedal on it, and then of course have the controls, the the on off and reverse, have that remote. They actually sell those motors yeah. too with remote controls, so you could just buy that instead. I got this one. Um, I mean, it's only like 120 bucks. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's just the cheapest thing. And that little battery that doesn't weigh anything hardly, I got from Amped, and I don't know, it weighs like three pounds, if. Um, it adds little, very little weight to the boat. Um, Expandacraft.com, folks. Check us out. This is only the basic 12-foot sit-on paddle cat with a little electric motor. Yeah, it seems like a great little unit. Glad you like it. Yeah.